It's lovely to be here. I've come all the way from Brighton. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering what this haircut is about. Um, <laughs> might be a new face uh, for some of you people. Um, don't panic. The BBC invited me here because they, they needed a beige lesbian. So <laughs> I'm just here to tick some boxes. <laughs> Not your box, madam. Just, um, <laughs> just a metaphorical box. <laughs> I'm half Spanish. That's what's happening there. <laughs> I've got a Spanish mum. And uh, she lives here in the UK. It's all very legal. <laughs> she's lived longer in the UK than she's ever lived in Spain. But the brilliant thing about my mum is that she's never lost her accent. She's doing very, very good. She's doing very, very good. words she cannot pronounce. Lost and lost her words she cannot pronounce, huh? <laughs> my favourite word that my mum's never been able to pronounce is uh, my brother's name. <laughs> it's not even a difficult name. His name's Stephen. Is this. Spanish people, any word that begins with the letter S, they struggle, right? So my mum doesn't call him Stephen, she calls him Steven. <laughs> What's his name, mum? Steven. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Isn't it just Stephen? <laughs> Even if I don't know his name is my son, it is Steven! You don't want to mess with my mum. She's not like British people here in this country. We can be quite passive-aggressive, can't we? <laughs> She's just a very aggressive woman. <laughs> I don't know how... My, my mum's never really coped in this country, and I think it's because, like a lot of Mediterranean people, she's quite loud, yeah? She's got one volume. It's like this. Hello! How are you? <laughs> Whereas in this country, particularly if we're middle class, we tend to be low talkers, don't we? We don't like to raise our voices, do we? <laughs> Why? Because we've got money. <laughs> Let me just assume that if you are raising your voice, well, you're probably poor. <laughs> or worse, foreign. <laughs> Great thing about having a Mediterranean mum is they feed you. Oh, my God. She's always feeding. That's her way of showing that she loves her children, is to feed us, you know? I can remember going around friends' houses, you know, like English mums. Go around a, an English mum's house and the conversation with mum's more like this. <laughs> I think you've had enough. <laughs> My mum will feed you till you puke. <laughs> Anything can be going on in my life and my mum will relate it back to a meal that she's cooked. Do you know what I mean? Like, so good or bad, particularly if I'm depressed. If I phone up my mum and I've had a terrible day, yeah? I phone up my mum, conversation always goes like this. Oh, Jennifer, my God, I'm so sorry to hear that you're having a hard time right now. But you know what? Don't worry, OK? I made a soup. <laughs> Come on, you sound hungry. I made a chicken curry, I made a lantagine, I made a casserole, Jennifer, I made some tortillas, some paella, some curry, Jennifer, you love curry, curry, maybe some meatballs, some pork ball, beef ball, and a seed ball, banana ball. You're a lesbian, you don't eat enough balls, please. <laughs> Come home. Eat my balls. <laughs> <laughs>